What's going on guys, Brent031, appreciate you guys tuning in. So in this video, we're gonna take an up close look at the camouflage patterns used in the movie Red Dawn. The 1984 classic, which in my opinion, guys, is one of the greatest movies ever made. If you don't like Red Dawn, you're obviously a beta male that hates America. There's no, no question about it, all right? But if you haven't seen Red Dawn, I highly encourage you guys to go watch it. And uh, one thing you have to keep in mind is during the time period in which they're filming that, it's Cold War, you got the Soviet Union, the United States, there's not much access to Soviet uh, uniforms, weapons, gear, and equipment. And they did a fantastic job, in my opinion, of recreating to the best of their ability, Soviet, all that stuff. All right, all the way up to tanks and armored personnel carriers. But one of the most iconic things to come out of that movie was a camouflage pattern. It's the one I'm wearing and the one you see here on this table that uh, no doubt, guys, they tried to recreate looking at, you know, black and white photos of Soviet troops in places like Afghanistan, okay? Because they just did not have access to that type of stuff. They didn't know exactly what it looked like. They had to go on those uh, those photos, presumably. So in this video, we're gonna take an up-close look at what I believe to be, if it's not an original cut, it's absolutely original material, uh, camouflage from that movie, okay? And uh, we'll take a look at the, the three camouflage patterns that I can think of off the top of my head that were using that movie and what they were trying to recreate. Uh, but first and foremost, guys, this is an original Red Dawn freaking uniform, okay? Camouflage pattern. So we're gonna we're gonna dive in so you guys can check that out. And then obviously you got companies because it's such an iconic movie and it's got such a cult following. You got companies like O two four one Tactical that uh, reproduce the uh, camouflage pattern. So you're gonna see how this pattern matches up to the original. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Let's dive into this. All right, guys, so first and foremost, we're gonna start out, what was the Red Dawn camouflage pattern based off of? I've got a few uh, different examples of the most common Soviet era camouflage patterns at the time. This one right here is the KLMK camouflage pattern. These are uh, the KZS camouflage oversuits. These are kind of like a burlap material that they would throw on over their regular uh, Soviet uniforms. And uh, you know, my opinion, most likely they were trying to copy this uh, KLMK camouflage pattern because prominently the guys in the the, the uh, movie are paratroopers, and this is a you know a one piece coverall suit that it looks like the uniforms are mostly patterned off of, and uh, you guys can even see kind of like this triangular uh, knee pad area. Keep this in mind. I'll show you something later that. Uh, is gonna make you think of, of this. But you can see these are like coveralls and uh, like paratrooper coveralls. And I think that this is most likely what they tried to base their, their uh, uniform camouflage pattern off of. So, but again, if you look at these, you know, and the designs on some of this, it, it does actually replicate pretty pretty well okay so imagine looking at these patterns under black and white photographs and then uh looking at this all together and it probably looks very very similar okay so that's in my opinion the uh klmk is probably most likely what they they went off of but it could have been any one of these nonetheless so let's dive in and let's take a look at the uniform itself so why do I, first and foremost, why do I think that this is an original uniform? Well, you guys can check out the uh, Uniform History YouTube channel. He did a very in-depth video over it, okay? And part of that video, he talked about how they originally tried to make reversible uniforms, okay? So if you guys see on the inside here, what do you have there? You have the Soviet winter camouflage pattern that they used in Red Dawn, okay? So you remember during the December time frame in that movie, when the Spetsnaz came over and uh, tried to hunt the Wolverines, this is the camouflage pattern that they were wearing, okay? It was, this is obviously a reversible suit um, for that, that you can turn inside out. So if either, either this is an original garment or the material itself was, um, original and this suit is just, you know, post-production. But regardless, this is the original camouflage pattern that was used in the movie. Uh, but let's take a look at this uh, two-piece suit. But again, keep in mind guys, most of the guys in the movie had a, uh, you know, one-piece coverall. So you just have a, a general hood. It's got some, what looked like foliage loops here on the hood. The top also has 
some, you know, either foliage loops or, you know, maybe something for shoulder board boards. I don't know. Hood secures with buttons. Also on the sleeves, looks like another, yeah, these are probably most likely for uh, foliage loops. Reinforced elbows, elastic cuff. And the, uh, the sleeves are symmetrical, so exact same uh, style on both sleeves with the zipper. And then it looks like you have a drawstring in the inside so you can tighten up the uniform and secure it that way too to, to tighten it to your body. Um, let's see what the back has here. Back is just uh, plain, but it gives you a really good uh, look at the camouflage pattern itself. So that is the garment itself. And then like I said, guys, this is a reversible garment. You can see, you can see the Red Dawn Soviet snow pattern, right? It's kind of got the, uh, the green grass kind of brush, and then you can see some uh, like off-white camouflage shapes. And then obviously the uh, pattern from the other side is kind of bleeding through as well. Uh, so the uniform history video, he says that uh, they originally tried to do this, and then because the other pattern was bleeding through, they had to do a separate run of just the snow camo. But this is the, uh, the snow camo that's used in the movie. What I don't know is if this uh, snow camo is based off of any Russian uh, specific snow camouflage of the time. I don't think so. I think the, uh, the snow camouflage of the Soviets at that time was just uh, winter over whites. So I could be wrong. I'll have to do some research and look into that. But nonetheless, guys, this is the, the smock that I have that's made out of, if not an original cut uniform type, it's made out of the original material. So let's take a look at the pants. All right, moving on to the pants. So again, this is clearly an oversuit, guys. It's very thin material. Uh, you would just throw this on over your uniform for the movie. It secures at the top. It's just a, an elastic top, and then it secures with a, like a shoestring. And then the pockets on the front are just pass-through pockets, kind of like a Gore-Tex trouser. Um, but whatever uniform you're wearing underneath this, you know, it's, it's cut so that you could access that through these. Again, over piece camouflage pattern. Other than that, very basic guys, very lightweight material. Um, the knees are reinforced. And then look at the design of this. Remember I told you to keep the uh, KLMK in mind for the, uh, the knees. That's why another piece of thing that makes me think that they were referencing that KLMK oversuit. Uh, for this particular uh, uniform design as you guys can see the pointed design that's similar to that KLMK design uh, Moving down to the bottoms secures with uh, just regular shoe strings And that's pretty much it. I don't think there's anything on the back Nope No pockets on the back or features on the back. This too is reversible So it can be turned inside out which renders your Red Dawn Russian mock-up snow camouflage. And that's it. That wraps up the, uh, the trousers. Let's move on to another camouflage pattern that was used in the movie. All right, the next camouflage pattern that I'm gonna talk about is what Colonel Bella, the Cuban commander, was wearing. And this is Portuguese lizard camouflage. It was very prevalent in the United States during the 80s, and that's what it is right here. This is what you guys can see. This is what's used in the movie. What were they trying to replicate? Cuban gray lizard camouflage right here. Okay, so you guys can see very close, right? <laughs> very close. Uh, just a little, kind of the similar design, but just a little bit different uh, color scheme. Uh, but this is ultimately what they were trying to replicate. And, uh, you know, this is just a, a BDU style uniform with just top pockets, just like on the Portuguese lizard. And you guys can see that dirty, disgusting communist star right there. Uh, but this is actual Cuban gray lizard camouflage. And this is what they use to replicate that in the movie Portuguese Lizard. 
All right, in closing, the last thing I want to show you guys is uh, if you're interested in this pattern and keeping it alive, you know, if you're a fan like me, you see this pattern, you know instantly what it is and, uh, you know, the person that's wearing it is trying to, trying to do, right? So uh, here's the original so that you guys can get a color comparison. But there's a few companies out there reproducing stuff. One of them's an 0241 Tactical. They're the ones that are making the smock that I have on. And you guys can see their camouflage pattern compared to the original. It's pretty, it's pretty close. Probably the best of all the uh, stuff I've seen that's repro. Uh, my good buddy John at UW Gear made uh, a chest rig out of the uh, Red Dawn camouflage pattern. And this is particularly an AK chest rig. So I can't think of any any other way to go. If you're gonna get a chest rig in, in the Red Dawn camouflage pattern, why not be an AK? So uh, there's another company called Camo Headquarters and they kind of make like sweatshirts and running and leisure type stuff. Uh, they also made like this neck gaiter, but you can see, you know, the camouflage pattern, it's all right. You know, anybody that saw this, that that knows Red Dawn would immediately recognize it, okay? So, but in terms of like matching up, it's not, it's not the greatest. Uh, but that's it guys again there's there's a few companies out there that are reproducing this stuff so if you want to get your hands on some tribute red dawn camouflage it's out there and available that's it guys that completes my video over the camouflage patterns used in the movie red dawn if you're liking what you're seeing don't forget to check out my channel subscribe we're gonna have several camouflage and gear review videos and plan to do several more in the future thanks for watching don't forget to leave a comment Wolverines!